Kidnappers killed Ekiti school bus driver because he did not know his wife and school proprietor's phone numbers offhand. Parents, peace. The pupils and two teachers who were kidnapped on January 29, 2024, regained the freedom on Sunday. However, the driver who was among the abductees was killed and his body burned to ashes by the kidnappers in the forest. One of the parents of the victims revealed that members of the community and other indigenous, both at home and abroad, contributed ransom that made it possible for the children to be freed. According to the parent, the children and teachers were freed after 15 million naira food, tramadol, milk, and hard drinks were handed over to the abductors as ransom. We had challenges locating them. When we first entered the forest, we spent about two hours without seeing the kidnappers. We had to go back and forth before we saw those who asked us to bring the money. They took us into the bush that was far from where we parked the motorcycle that we took there, the parent explained. We gave them what they demanded and they released the pupils and teachers to us. Nine person were kidnapped, but eight person were released. We didn't see the ninth person. As they collected the money, they said we should run off. I cannot say specifically the location in the forest. It is between Ondo and the Keti State. We entered around Agupano along Owo Ikare Road in Kondo State and went deep into the expensive, in expansive forest. When they released the victims to us, I embraced my family members. I thank God for the reunion. It was one of them who said they shot the driver dead. Asked why the driver was killed, the parents said, the children told us that the kidnappers asked for the phone number of relatives to call each of them in the forest. The driver told them that he did not know his wife and school proprietor offhand. This made them angry and they hit him with their gun. For five days, he was written in pain from the injury he sustained. On Saturday morning, he was shot dead and painfully, his body was burned to ashes. It was a bitter and terrifying experience for the little children, especially looking at how the driver was killed. Ha, ah, God. You mean they murdered this man in the presence of children because of money? You cannot tell me that this is the fool any people do. There is nothing you will tell me. Ah, no. There is nothing you will tell me. This kidnapping going on, eh? Na in house. As in members of that particular community. And they are coming out. To do this because they are coming out to do this because there is already a security issue and they have seen how the government is treating the so-called security issue with kid roofs. Had it been the government hmm, or the so-called abductors or kidnappers or bandits, they come in, they kidnap people, you know, the government does not give them money. You understand? When they kidnap people, in order to bring the money, they trace them, go, you know, some people, they exchange gunfire. Some people, go is the creator. You understand from there. When they come, say they won't come pick another set of people, they encounter people, they say, go also give them fire for fire. Some of them, then go meet the maker. <laughs> it will be registered in the head, sir. Some of these communities, they don't want to bow, they don't agree, they don't agree to penetrate. Anywhere we will go, they will go block us. You understand? They will have it at the front of their head. If they have exhausted all their plans, they will do what they will carry their bag and baggages and they are going to get out of that community. But what is going on? Hmm? Because they know that, okay, bring a, bring a, kidnap people, a, bring the money, bring the money, and you carry the money and give to them, empowering them, showing them that, come back next time. Yes, now, that is what it means. I am so sorry I'm sounding this way. It is not because I have not experienced. I don't need to. The kidnapping is not what you need to experience for you to understand how it works. But the thing is, I am so pained that the police and the security operatives are not using this. They are not doing enough. Let me just put it that way. They are not. They murdered this. This children will forever remember this, that, that particular trauma. No. And the money cannot be tracked. If our security agency refuses to track the phone number they're making contact with, what a shame. My dear, another angle to it. The money cannot be tracked so that these people, so that you, you stop them from going to harm another people. That is the idea. Shut up your mouth. Who is not who is not friend of Yoruba? My pastor is Yoruba man. My best friend in America is Yoruba man from Bikiti. Usually say they deliver their votes before votes count. Come on now. 
you're not going to use because of that and you're going to call them a useless state whether you like it or not there are people who are actually good loving people in a kitty state and miloka will go around though all those that supported him since the people decided to bury the truth Although they never tell us their culture, forget Fulani cannot act alone in other people's life. Yes, they have come in and they have been able to influence one or two or three people. <laughs> Some people pretend and dress like them. So we are caught early last day. Out of five, only one is Fulani. My friend father that was kidnapped by Fulani was surprised to know they mentioned his name. He said, big men came every night. These people cannot walk alone without traitors among And that is the truth. Because of the, look, let me say it, I'm, I am so sorry I'm saying this, even me, I cannot believe I'm going to say this. Because of the situation of the economy, because of the laxity or the lackadaisical attitude of a government towards insecurity, that is why this thing is going on. If not, had it been the government is doing their part very well, when it comes to insecurity, they have stamped their foot on the ground and they have shown that they are not, they did not come to play. Anytime these people appear, they give them fire for fire. Maybe they would have it have been registered in their brain. Fulani is a wicked. Let Yoruba, Hausas, and Nibos join hand together to kill them all without that. These people wipe everybody out of his head. My dear, let me now tell you. Whether I would like it or not, they also have people who are good Fulanis. Whether I would like it or not, in every society, in every geopolitical zone, in every tribe, in every uh, what's called community, we have the good, we have the bad, we have the ugly. You will not use because there is a, a bad and ugly in a particular community that you abandon the good. It's not possible. It is not. This has gradually, gradually turned into a daily occurrence, so police and soldiers cannot go into the bush to combat and rescue kidnapped victims for a whole week. The police was fast to tell us that they rescued them where ransom has been paid, as if we are fools. Just few hours trekking, you cannot train. <laughs> I don't blame them too. How much did the government pay them? The security agency, whether I like it or not, remains one of the poorest of the poor agencies, you know, being paid in Nigeria. And it is not supposed to be so. These people are supposed to be paid very heavily. In fact, they're supposed to pay them in such a way that you cannot match them. Protecting life, even one life, is not easy. This is a very serious and sorry case. Killing the driver is wrong. And accepting full responsibility for the release of the people by the government is also wrong. I'll advise the government to pay back the parents and the community the 15 million. That is the right thing to do. Because they scrap them. And they should not be in the news. They should quietly do it. Alright, on this note, we have come to the end of the news. We say thank you for turning in to listen. Until I come your way next time, enjoy the rest of your day.